some nettles in the meadow. It's right on the edge of the meadow, just growing beneath these maple trees, a place that it really loves to grow. It loves that kind of loamy, rich soil that's underneath trees. So nettles, their Latin name is Urtica dioica, and the family is the Urticaceae. And Urtica is to itch. And the reason that it's called that is because it stings. They, if you brush against them, they will leave you with a big rash. So you want to be careful when you're looking at them or getting too close to them. So nettles are a great spring vegetable. They're tonic, they're nutritious, they build your blood. So after a long winter of maybe not such great food, you have this free wild food growing here that will build you up build your blood and build your reserves back up. Very rich in iron, so great for people who tend to anemia. Rich in calcium, lots of trace vitamins and minerals, and they're delicious. You pick them young, you pick the, the young tops of them, and you can saute them, you can make soup with them, you can puree them, you can make spanakopita with them, there's no end. You can use them very much like spinach in any of the ways that you'd spinach, eat spinach, except you have to cook them before you eat them. So nettles are best picked in the early spring. As they get older, they get tougher, they get less tasty, and they also become more irritating to your body. They become much drier, they get much more silica in them, and they're not as easy on your kidneys. So if you're eating them a lot and they're older nettles, you'll find you end up with kidney irritation. So eat them young and fresh, eat them first thing in the spring. Nettles have a long history of use as food and also as te in technology. So they make wonderful fabric. So the, the fibers of nettle are very, very strong and linens can be made from them and rope can be made from, from nettle fiber. You have to beat them and soak them and braid them, but they make very strong, very hardy rope. Medicinally, nettles are a great anti-inflammatory. So they, they are real good spring cleanse, as well as being a spring tonic and a great spring food, they're a great spring cleanse. So they can help in any kind of inflammatory condition. So I'll often use them in arthritic conditions or in skin conditions. Traditionally, people would take these stinging tops and actually put them on the skin. So I've got a friend who had a frozen shoulder and she just took clumps of nettles and put them all over her shoulder and it counter irritant it gets a huge amount of blood flow going through there clears out the inflammation and she could move her shoulder again so nettles is a very important medicinal plant it's been used for a really really long time and it has a very strong use as an anti-inflammatory so i will use nettles when i'm treating somebody with arthritis I'll use nettles for somebody who has skin issues. I'll use nettles whenever someone's really depleted and run down and they're needing nourishing. I'll often use nettles for people who are, maybe women who are breastfeeding and who are really needing some extra nourishment. Um, I'll always use nettles with people who have anemia because it's so they're so rich in iron and they're so tonifying. They build the blood. I'll use nettles for people who are low in calcium, so people who have a predisposition to osteoporosis. Nettles would be a really important part of the herbal medicine that I'm giving them. And I'd encourage them to eat it as food and to have it as a tea. Nettles are also really important um, for helping people who have a sensitivity to the sun. So if you go out into the sun and you get a rash, Think of nettles, a nettle tea. If you have skin that reacts when you draw a nail down it, gently draw a nail down your skin and your skin wheels up, you think of nettles. It's really good for reducing that inflammatory response. Nettles combines really well with cleavers. So cleavers is another beautiful wild medicinal and they're ready at the same time. They combine really well together. They're a spring tonic and a great spring food and a really good spring cleanse. So they're detoxifying the two of them together. One of them is building and one of them has helping to flush out toxins from the body. Nettle seeds 
are also a very important medicinal. So as they grow, as they get older, they set flower and then they set seed. And those seeds, interestingly enough, because the plant itself is very drying, the seeds are very mucilaginous. And the seeds are actually really tonic for the kidneys. So whereas I was saying, watch out for the leaves, don't have too much of old leaves because they can be irritating for the kidneys, the seeds are actually really nutritive and can be a really good kidney tonic. So that's for the seeds that will happen in midsummer. When you're picking nettles, one of the things you have to really look out for is that they are growing in clean soil. And to know that, you really have to know the place you're picking from. So it's no good just going to any old place and seeing nettles and going, oh great, I can take some home for supper. Because you really have to know that the place that they're growing hasn't been an old dump site. It isn't an old roadway that has got maybe it um, pesticides on it or herbicides or any kind of toxic sprays. You want to make sure that it is a good distance from a road. So nettles are very hungry feeders and they'll tend to pull up anything that's in the soil. They don't mind if it's toxic, they don't differentiate. I'm going to show you how to harvest nettles. Ideally you have a pair of gloves because otherwise you're going to have very stinging fingers. It's actually possible to pick nettles without getting stung. You can see that I'm holding the leaves and I'm not getting stung. However, if I brushed against that leaf, I would get stung. So it's very much in the way you hold the plant. However, I'm going to show you using gloves. So this has a little insect that's a little spit bug here. So we're not going to harvest that. We're going to leave that where it is. So we're going to harvest just the top here. And you just pick it like that. And there you have your fresh nettle tops. In summary, nettles, Urtica dioica, Urticaceae is the family. They love to grow in rich soil, particularly love under deciduous trees. They're a nourishing tonic. They're a great spring tonic. They're particularly good first thing in the spring with the young growth. They're also a depurative. They help reduce inflammation. They help to detoxify and reduce inflammation. So they're great in any kind of inflammatory skin conditions or inflammatory joint conditions. The part you harvest is just these tops. You want to harvest before it flowers. So don't wait for it to flower. You want to harvest long before it flowers because at that, by the time it's flowered, it's too old. So go out and see if you can find some nettles and have them in your spring soups and your spring vegetables. They're delicious. <laughs>